Hello guys and welcome to installing plugins by WA courses. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can install plugins on any WordPress website. So there are basically three ways you can do this. I'm going to show you all three different methods of achieving this in this video. So with the introduction out the way, let's get started with the tutorial. So to install a plugin on your WordPress website, I'm going to start with the uh, most easiest. Just go over to plugins click on add new and it's going to take you to the plugin repo so this um, this here is just a library of different plugins available on wordpress.org okay so you can search for a plugin from here and over here you're going to see some future plugins like classic editor um, askimate and all that so uh, to install a plugin just click on the install now button you can install any of these so let's just install this health check and troubleshooting click on install now and what happens is your uh wordpress server is going to request for this file from the wordpress.org server and once it has been downloaded to your server you will to activate and use this plugin okay you can also search for plugin for example let's say you're looking for a search plugin so just type in search and it's going to search the WordPress repo for different search plugins. So you have Ajax search for WooCommerce and so whatever plugin you're looking for, you can search by keyword, okay? Keyword or by author or by tag. But in most cases, you're going to find yourself using the keyword um, uh, tab. So if I click on this future tab, it's going to show you all the featured uh, plugins, just like um, when I clicked on add new, you also have popular, so if you're new to WordPress, you don't really know what plugin to install. Just click on popular and you're going to see all the popular plugins everybody's using. Okay. Um, you also have the recommended tab here. So recommended these are uh, plugins that are recommended for every WordPress website. And we also have favorites. So for favorites, all you have to do is type in your WordPress.org username and you're going to get all your favorites um plugins showing up here so this is a feature that nobody actually uses but you can actually use this if you want so that's basically how to install plugins from the wordpress repo if you have a custom plugin and you want to add that custom plugin just click on upload plugin from here and add in the zip file so i'm just going to download a plugin quickly from wordpress.org so i'll go over to plugins and I'm going to download a random plugin from here. So let's just download this one so I can demonstrate how this works. So click on download and it's going to give you a zip file. So we'll go back and we drag and drop our zip file in this specific box and click on install now. Okay. So once you click install now, it's going to upload this, um, plugin file from your local server to your WordPress server. Okay. So this takes a while. Once it's done, you should be able to activate the plugin. Okay. So this has completed. So if you want to activate this plugin, just click on activate and it's going to be listed on, uh, your plugin dashboard here. So these are all the plugins that you have on your WordPress website. So this is one we just added and uh these are the other ones that we added from the wordpress repo the last method i said i was going to explain is for adding custom plugins that have big sizes okay so if you come over to add new here and you click on upload not every single um plugin can be added from here okay so if you have a custom plugin and you want to add it through here sometimes you can have a size constraint so if the size is very big like you have a plugin of uh, a plugin with a size of 500 MB, you won't be able to add that via this um, feature here because WordPress has um, size limits for everything. So you can actually use something called an FTP client, okay, so like FileZilla and manually upload the file. But we're going to be using a plugin called File Manager, which essentially does the same thing as an FTP client. So 
scroll down you can install any of these file manager faster or advanced file manager the my personal favorite is faster so i'm just going to install this let's wait for a while and i'm going to activate this plugin so once this is activated just um, scroll to the top and you're going to see the file manager so click on file manager and it's going to open the file manager so let's quickly download another plugin so we can demonstrate how you can upload this so i'm going to download this okay so once you've installed this plugin and you click on the icon here it's going to take you to the root folder for your wordpress website so just double click on wp content and under wp content you're going to see this plugins folder so double click on this and what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop the specific plugin uh zip file because every single plugin comes in a zip file if you if they are downloaded from a third party website okay so just drag and drop and it's going to upload this for you irrespective of the size so even if this is 500 mb it's going to upload to your server so there's no size constraint when you're using this method so we're going to wait for this to upload and once it's uploaded you're going to get the zip file here so just um, right click and click on extract files from archive so make sure you select here so just click on yes and it's going to extract this as a folder here so once you've uh, added this make sure you delete this zip um, file for um, security purposes so just delete this and if we go back to our plugins dashboard you're going to see that we have the plugin listed here so that's the um, another way of adding plugins if the size of the plugin is really really big okay so that's basically it for this video i hope you guys found it useful and i'll see you guys in the next video